Good afternoon. This is a reading for the 27th week in Ordinary Time, Year 1, Monday. Monday the 4th of October. The readings are taken from the Prophet Jonah, Chapter 1, 1, 2, 1, 11. The psalm will be 2, 3, 5, 8, response, verse 7. You lifted my life from the pit, O Lord. The Gospel according to Luke, chapter 10, 25 to 37. In my records, it looks as if it is not recorded. However, because I'm not sure, I'm going to record it again. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the prophet Jonah. The word of the Lord was addressed to Jonah, son of Amittai. Up, he said, go to Nineveh, the great city and inform them that their wickedness has become known to me. Jonah decided to run away from the Lord and to go to Tarshish. He went down to Joppa and found a ship bound for Tarshish. He paid his fare and went aboard to go with them to Tarshish to get away from the Lord but the Lord unleashed a violent wind on the sea. And there was such a great storm at sea that the ship threatened to break up. The sailors took fright, and each of them called on his own God. And to lighten the ship, they threw the cargo overboard. Jonah, however, had gone below and laid down in the hold and fallen fast asleep. The boatswain came upon him and said, What do you mean by sleeping? Get up, call on your God. Perhaps he will spare us a thought and not leave us to die. Then they said to each other, Come on, let us draw lots to find out who is responsible for bringing this evil on us. So they cast lots, and the lot fell to Jonah. Then they said to him, Tell us what is your business? Where do you come from? What is your country? What is your nationality? He replied, I am a Hebrew, and I worship the Lord, the God of heaven, who made the sea and the land. The sailors were seized with terror at this and said, What have you done? They knew that he was trying to escape from the Lord because he had told them so. They then said, What are we to do with you to make the sea grow calm for us? For the sea was growing rougher and rougher. He replied, Take me and throw me into the sea and then it will grow calm for you. The sailors rowed hard in an effort to reach the shore, but in vain, since the sea grew still rougher for them. They then called on the Lord and said, O oh Lord, do not let us perish for taking this man's life. Do not hold us guilty of innocent blood, for you, Lord, have acted as you thought right. And taking hold of Jonah, they threw him into the sea, and the sea grew calm again. At this the men were seized with dread of the Lord. They offered a sacrifice to the Lord and made vows. The Lord had arranged that a great fish should be there to swallow Jonah, and Jonah remained in the belly of the fish for three days and three nights. The Lord spoke to the fish, which then vomited Jonah, onto the shore, the word of the Lord.
in responsorial psalm, you lifted my life from the pit, O Lord. You lifted my life from the pit, O Lord. Out of my distress, I cried to the Lord, and he answered me. From the belly of Sheol I cried, and you have heard my voice. You lifted my life from the pit, O Lord. You cast me into the abyss, into the heart of the sea, and the flood surrounded me. All your waves, your billows washed over me. You lifted my life from the pit, O Lord. And I said, I am cast out from your sight. How shall I ever look again on your holy temple? You lifted my life from the pit, O Lord. While my soul was fainting within me, I remembered the Lord, and my prayer came before you into your holy temple. You lifted my life from the pit, O Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I give you a new commandment, love one another just as I have loved you, says the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a lawyer who to disconcert Jesus stood up and said to him, Master, what must I do to inherit eternal life? He said to him, What is written in the law? What do you read there? He replied, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength and with all your mind and your neighbour as yourself. You have answered right, said Jesus. Do this and life is yours. But the man was anxious to justify himself and said to Jesus, And who is my neighbour? Jesus replied, A man was once on his way down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell into the hands of brigands. They took all that he had, beat him, and then made off, leaving him half dead. Now a priest happened to be travelling down the same road. But when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. In the same way, a Levite who came to the place saw him and passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan traveller who came upon him was moved with compassion when he saw him. He went up and bandaged his wounds, pouring oil and wine on them. He then lifted him onto his own mount, carried him to the inn, and looked after him. Next day he took out two denarii and handed them to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and on my way back I will make good any extra expense you have. Which of these three do you think? Proved himself a neighbour to the man who fell into the brigand's hands. The one who took pity on him, he replied, Jesus said, go and do the same yourself, the gospel of the Lord. Thank you for listening. May God heal you. I send you his peace and blessings in abundance. May you always be happy and joyful in the Lord. God bless you and thank you so much for listening.